So I'm, I'm always trying to network and, and shop my beats to, to rappers and, and that, that, that type of stuff. So what does the networking look like um, from your standpoint? Like, how would you approach uh, trying to, to get a hold of somebody? Yeah, I'm always on Instagram. Like, Instagram is my biggest platform. So I'm always on Instagram. Uh, one thing that that's like my first tip that I'm, that I'm giving it right now. Uh, try to find people and beat stars help you a lot with that. Like I, I make melodic type stuff, like Luteca type stuff, Indoor type stuff. So I, I will go on beat stars and, and search like Luteca type beats. I'll find a producer that uploaded a Luteca type beat. I go to their Instagram and go through the, to the people that follow him. So I just start to like know people, know rappers, other producers. So I start DMing people. Wanted to work with people, so oh, this this is how I get it started, you know. Okay. And through after that, I, I build the relationship more. But this is like the main way that I use to find new people to work with and to sell stuff, to sell beats and mixings. I love I love that. I think um, yeah. I I think I'm similar in that way. Obviously, I'm coming from a business standpoint. But when I first started getting into the industry. It, it was really important for me to identify who was who. Yeah. And at that time, Twitter was just becoming a thing. Yeah. And Twitter was like the place for me to find out who was who and who was doing what. And that was where I was really able to grow my network. So I completely yeah. agree with you on that. Like finding people who do similar things to you and seeing who their network is and going from there. Key. Yeah. 